Greetings from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Stan Jibalisco here for the continuation of our comparison between two types of buffer, the first in, first out, and last in, first out. Now you may wonder, what on earth is this? What is this guy up to now? What's he showing us now? Well, this is an example of a stack. <laughs> well, duh! This is my um, wood fuel that I use to help keep the nerd cave warm while I do my various rantings and operations and book compose compositions, magnum opi. Anyway, this is an example of a last in, first out stack. This wood, I get loads of wood, about a quarter of a cord to a half a cord at a time. And the people coming uh, together, we stack it up in the woodshed here. The problem is, the first wood that I put in goes towards the back, and then as I put more and more in, it comes out further and further towards the front. Well, that's okay, fine. The thing is, I want to use the driest wood I can when I'm burning wood to keep warm. And the driest wood is the wood that's been there the longest. And that's the wood... It's in the back. Uh, you, you may not be able to tell. That's two stacks uh, deep there. So the driest wood is going to be in the back there. <laughs> but I can't reach down in there and pull wood out from behind this other wood. So this is an example of a last in, first out buffer full of wood. A stack. I wish I could develop a good system to make it a first in, first out. Uh, system, but I would need more room to do that. I've thought up schemes for that, and I've thought about using my garage to put wood in, and it's a lot bigger, and I can arrange things uh, that way. The garage, by the way, uh, will no longer hold my vehicle. Uh, my new vehicle is too big for it. <laughs> big number eight. I'm not going to mess with the winners around here in the Black Hills anymore. I got a lifted Toyota Tundra. Uh, one might debate whether I could afford it or not, but I think I'll be glad I got it the next time we have 18 inches of snow at a pop. I'm going to take you into the Nerd Cave. You've probably seen this place. This is where I do my work. I create my proposals and books and videos and do my little breadboard tests, some of which you've doubtless seen if you've watched my videos recently. And, of course, the Nerd Cave, complete with a ham radio station over here, displaying my website, sciencewriter.net. Go to my website, sciencewriter.net, and click on the link entitled Videos down there at the bottom, and it'll take you to my YouTube channel. There's my ham radio station in all of its uh, glory. The black phone for calling... Uh, I hardly ever use that thing, I don't know. <laughs> for calling whoever. The ringer doesn't work on it, so I can only call out. I can never... There's the... See, this is high-tech stuff here. There's the telescope. 8-inch Schmidt Cassegrainian reflecting telescope. A thermometer, which tells me how hot it is down here. Now you think, oh gosh, this guy's got it 82 degrees in here. 83. That's right. Uh, because, uh, first of all, I'm a really skinny guy. I'm a small, skinny guy, 60 years old, and you know what happens to small, skinny old people? They get cold easy. There's some wood. There's my, if all else fails, wood stove. It'll, it'll keep this place warm and all the other utilities fail, and I ought to know because it happened in October during Storm Atlas. Winter Storm Atlas in October, October 4th. Give me a break. There's a computer that I do some work on for primarily making videos and right now writing a book about uh, amateur radio, which again this is, the Nerd Cave, digital mode. But that is, that, that is my conundrum. The wood pile out there. Get some wallpaper from Great Images in NASA, wallpaper like that. Ain't that cool? And there's another page in my website, not published, I keep my bookmarks online. But that's an example of a last-in, first-out 
stack, literally a stack, and that's partly why they call it a stack. When you stack stuff up, the uh, last stuff you put in is the first stuff you have to take out. There's the stars as they would look in the sky, if only it weren't cloudy and if only it were dark out. Then I could use the old telescope. Ham radio station sitting here. What you're listening to there is digital phase shift keying on the 14 megahertz amateur radio band. So, that's my conundrum. I wish I could turn that LIFO, L-I-F-O, stack into a FIFO, first in, first out buffer. I will someday if I can get the guy there. I've got a guy who wants to, to trade me tutoring for wood. I think that's a pretty good deal. And he'll give me five loads of wood for that thing right there. I haven't used it. Pity. Stan Jabalisco from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America, signing off from the Nerd Cave where it's a sweltering 84 degrees in December. Till next time, so long.